about 7 30. i'm so excited for this week's vlog because we are going to be decorating for christmas we're going to be putting up our christmas tree going decor shopping and i'm just so excited to get my house decorated i love the holiday season i busted open my christmas pajama box so we're going to be starting to wear some christmas pajamas which i'm so excited for i just really feel like i'm in the holiday spirit already which i love and i've been listening to christmas music already i've been going full out but if you think about it by the time that i post this video christmas is basically in a month which is crazy time really does fly but anyways i'm just headed to the gym this morning so that's the plan for right now and then i'm gonna go grocery shopping and do all that and then later today we're gonna set up the tree i'm so excited for it this week I just finished grocery shopping. I'm gonna unpack this and then give you guys a haul. Here is a little overview haul. I just got basically same as usual, but I did get a bunch of like organic diced tomatoes, some organic beans. I also got some organic corn for my soups that I'm gonna make this week because I'm in my soup era and also chili, I'm gonna make it again. So I got some chips for that. And then I got two packs of eggs, ground beef, some hummus. This is the best hummus because it's made with olive oil, not canola. And then I just got some yams, strawberries, some gluten-free waffles, just as a little treat for myself, some chocolate chips, some peppers. I got Italian seasoning and some gluten-free tortellini for tonight's soup, which I'm so excited about. And then I got some chicken broth and then just some tomatoes in there. I'm going to put this all away now. So me and Joel are currently on the way to Homesense and Marshalls because we are going Christmas decor shopping. I'm just going to be doing this all week, figuring out what I'm going to do with my house and everything. We just picked up a Tim Hortons, I feel like a Christmas tree. I wore this green set on purpose. I'm so excited. We're going to set up our tree probably tonight and this week is going to be full with cozy Christmas decoration inspiration so you guys can have inspiration on how to decorate your house maybe if you need it we're also going to stop in michael's as well i have this huge home sense haul i'm going to show you guys it in a few minutes after putting up the tree but not so much because i couldn't help myself <laughs> I just finished making the soup. It's sausage and gluten-free tortellini. This is such a cozy soup and I'm so excited to eat it. But I, I'm just in my soup era and this looks and smells amazing. We are just about to start to set up the Christmas tree. This is the one that we have. We bought it from Walmart last year. And then these are our ornaments. I have to find our tree skirt. I'm not sure where that is to wrap the tree underneath, but we'll see. I need to look in the storage for it. We just found the tree skirt. It was actually hiding in the box, which is actually pretty smart of us to put it in here. But now we're gonna start assembling it. I'm so excited. <laughs> So we're not sure about the bow because it's a little bit different and overpowering 
but I think we're gonna let it sit for a day and then kind of marinate on how we like it. I don't know if it's because we just are not used to it or what, but we're just gonna let it sit, marinate, and then see, because it just might be a little bit too big for the tree. And if not, we can always return it, so it's not a big deal. Let me know what you think of the bow down below, if you're team bow or no bow. Because one of my other ideas was to just tie normal white bow, like with the ribbon that I had on the top, but that would have been pretty small, which is a thing. So I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I do really like the little bows that I tied though. I think they're perfect. So I'm gonna show you guys a Christmas decor little haul here. I kind of put everything out on the table. Some stuff may go back to the store. There was just, it was just too overstimulating in there and I had no idea like what to buy. So I just bought everything that I wanted. And then if I don't use it, if I don't like it, I can always bring it back. Um, I got everything at HomeSense. They have like a 10 day return policy, so it's fine. But okay, first things that I got is this little mug set. It comes with a red one, a blue one, and a green one. I just couldn't resist. They're so cute and they have like a little vintage like sweater pattern on them. And I just think they're adorable. And then I got this Christmas tree, which I envision kind of going in the centerpiece on the island. I don't know if it's like too much in terms of like too bold. Because I do like mostly neutral Christmas decor. So this is kind of out of my comfort zone a little bit. And it opens up so you can put like cookies or something inside, which is so cute. And I don't know. I do really like it. And I just thought that I can see if it looks good in here. And then if not... I can return it so it's no big deal and then i got this christmas tree mug which i just thought was so cute and i couldn't pass it up i got so many mugs like i do not need this many but i just like was going crazy in there and then i got this silver spruce woody green and refreshing candle this one is actually pretty big it smells so good this candle would probably go on this table here and then i got this candle which I can envision going on my kitchen table in the centerpiece as well because I used to have a pumpkin there for the fall but I think that this would be so cute and this one is a spiced apple candle and it smells really good I know these candles are so toxic and so bad for you but during the holiday season and stuff for decoration purposes everything in moderation so I allow myself some candles for the holiday season I got this knit blanket I know it's not super Christmassy but this pattern sweater pattern kind of reminds me of Christmas and it's Tommy Hilfiger actually and it has like a really cozy inside and we needed a new another blanket for our couch so I thought this one was perfect and it's just really cozy so I got that I got these two pillows I don't know about these like they're very red and bold but I'm gonna try them out on the couch and see how I like them and again if I don't like them they're returnable so it's not a big deal because sometimes it's really hard to have a vision in the store because I just like everything but it that doesn't mean that everything is going to actually go like good with the vibe in here so we'll see if i end up using these but these are a good option to try them out this is a little snowball how cute with little legs i'm going to put it on our bed and i just think it's the cutest thing ever and we're going to name him and then i just got this dish towel it has or two actually came in a pack of two just with like neutral snowflakes on it which i love and then i just got this little teapot which says let it snow but that is the pretty large haul from home sense and i got the ribbon that i was tying on the tree and the big bow on top from michael's it was buy one get one free for their christmas decoration but everything else here is from home sense hey guys so i just wanted to pop on here because i'm doing a little hair mask recently what i've been doing is just taking castor oil and putting it on my scalp the day before i wash my hair so tomorrow morning i'm gonna wash my hair and so tonight i'm gonna do a little bit of a hair mask because i feel like every single time i wash my hair i should be doing some sort of hair mask because I feel like I've just neglected that and for my last vlog you guys know I've been trying to keep up with the health of my hair a little bit more so I forgot to buy rosemary at the store today I was going to make rosemary water but I will buy that the next time I'm at the grocery store so I haven't done that yet but I am going to do a castor oil mask and castor oil is honestly pretty thick so what I like doing is just like rubbing it in my hands and on my fingertips and then just kind of going through my scalp and giving it a nice massage with the oil in it I need to get my nails done so bad one of them is like coming off and it's getting stuck in my hair all the time I actually heat that up and so I'm debating getting my acrylics off but anyways yeah so that is what I've been doing I just wanted to show you guys because castor oil you can order it off Amazon I'll link one that I use down below and it comes in this huge bottle and it's pretty cheap so I would suggest using it and I know it's really good for hair growth so it's just like an easy enough hair mask that I can do before bed and then just put some like oil on my hands and then just tie my hair up a bit but anyways I'm just gonna finish applying this and then I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow morning <laughs>
So me and Madison, she's filling up gas right now. We are going to the States today to do some Christmas shopping because we don't have Target or anything like that. Well, we have Walmart, but like we used to have Target and then they went bankrupt here in Canada. So we don't have them anymore. But I'm so excited because we're going to cross the border and go to Target, go to Ulta, like go to the Bellingham shopping area. If you guys live in the lower mainland, you know what we're doing because we live really close to the state's border like it's only an hour drive for us so once we cross that it's only like 20 to half an hour to actually get to target and stuff so it's pretty close you just have to like go through the border and bring your passport and all that thing is is like we do have target technically not that far away an hour and a half away which is nice but again like we are crossing the border so it's a little different i'm so excited we're gonna see the cute target christmas stuff the pajamas the decorations and i know we just went yesterday but it's gonna be fun to see what Target has. So then we can buy some stuff from there and then we can return some stuff that I got yesterday from HomeSense if I like stuff from Target better, you know what I mean? The only shitty thing is like the exchange rate is pretty bad, but it's okay. Oh my God, Jesus. We've been waiting at the border for like, I would say probably 25 minutes now. And we're just about mm. to cross, but we got Tim Hortons coffee and I just had a sip of it like 10 minutes ago and it tastes disgusting they messed it up i don't know what they did to oh it. you have got to be kidding me this person of course the person in front of us is getting pulled over and is putting their hats or like no it's off. okay he just has to go to, he's, he's gonna leave now he's just gonna go to like the border patrol place but anyways we're going so i gotta go see you in a second first um thing in the cart is these doormats and i wanted to get one but i couldn't find one yesterday they have a selection here but the snowflake one is my favorite i mean this one's kind of nice too with the snowman no, but the red is nice pop of color for my door and they're only nine dollars so can't go wrong $9 yeah which is basically like <laughs> almost 20 canadian but still a good deal we found the bigger Christmas section. Everything kind of looks a little bit picked over. Um, very sparse, like everything is sparse here. I mean, there's still some stock, so, sorry. Randomly found this little mug, which is really cute, but I bought like a million, Madison, I got like eight mugs yesterday. Maybe not eight, that's no exaggeration. I got like five mugs yesterday. And I just feel like it's my favorite. You didn't even show them to me. Well, because you were coming today, so I was waiting. I feel like I'm banned from mugs at this point or i can buy some if i like some that i if i can i talk if i see some that i really like i can buy them and i can always return the ones i bought yesterday that's the thing about having that's a, true. like being able to return stuff is you could take it home assess the vibe but the thing is is i have to be very careful about what i buy here because i can't just easily return it so yeah i have to be very picky with what we buy today so i also ended up getting starbucks because Tim, the Tim Hortons coffee was undrinkable. It tasted just like water, like something messed up. Mine was fine. I think it was just the yeah. oat milk. Hers was fine. No, I don't even think it was the oat milk. I think they just gave me water. She probably got the Hot bottom, water. bottom of the pot. Yeah, it was horrible. And then they like added water in it and then put like the bottom of the carton of the oat milk in it. And there was like no sugar. It tasted like straight water. Or it they was just like so didn't shake the oat milk and just poured yeah. it. And it was just like maybe, yeah, yeah actually. Oh, man, it was so this bad. Bowl. So I got the Starbucks, but. Yeah. I need a big bowl like this. When I get my dream car, I want to have like a big... No, it needs to be bigger than that. No, I, like a ginormous yeah. red bow like on him. Anyways, haven't really gotten anything yet except that map, so. This is the thing about the States is there's so many more like brands and products here. In Canada, we don't have native, um, the spray version of their deodorant. And it smells so good because I've used their deodorant before, but it's stick form and when deodorants are stick form it tends to get white stuff on your clothes and this one is a natural deodorant and on the back of it it says the ingredients and what they all mean there's six ingredients and then it tells you what they mean anyways so i'm gonna try it we're gonna try the spray out and see if we like it but that's what i mean about the states just has more little deodorant finds not christmasy but a good find We're currently in Trader Joe's. It's a zoo. It's literally so busy in here. The parking lot, it took us like 15 minutes to get a parking, but it's worth it because we had to come to Trader Joe's since we're here. Don't we have the pineapple on this line. Then we came, we got these um, soft and juicy dried mandarins and they were so good, so we're getting them again. Yeah. And I don't know what else we're gonna get. We'll see. We'll see what sparks the eye.
we just got back from the states and i'll give you guys a haul but i just wanted to show this really cute trader joe's bag that i got it was only four dollars which is actually crazy because it's really big and it has two pockets and it's really good quality and it's going to be my new reusable grocery bag which i love and i'm probably going to use it all the time so i just have everything in here i just changed into some sweatpants guys i can only wear jeans for so long before i need to change out of them even leggings i can't wear for long so feel nice and cute and cozy in my sweatpants let's do a little haul also i was wearing this jacket today i got some compliments on it so i just wanted to share but it's just from garage and it's just such a christmas cozy jacket and i love it i will try to find it and link it down below but it's just so cute and the outfit was better when i had my jeans on but anyways let's let me show you guys at home. I can't get over how cute this Trader Joe's bag is. I'm so happy that I went back for it because I didn't even see it when we were paying for the groceries. And then we were leaving and I saw it on the wall and I'm like, I need that bag because this is so... I'm just in love with it. So first thing that I got is this natural turkey jerky. It's already more than half gone because me and Joel have been enjoying it. And then I got these soft and juicy dried mandarins, which are so yummy. And then I got this crunchy almond butter and the ingredients are just almonds, so it's really good. And then I got these gluten-free everything bagels. These are the Trader Joe's brand. They don't have the best ingredients and I've been trying to stay away from buying gluten-free stuff since it's like full of additives and even your average bread that you buy at the grocery store is going to be full of additives but it's okay everything in moderation i just wanted to really try these because i've heard really good things about the trader joe's gluten-free stuff so i had to pick these up to try them out and then last thing i got from trader joe's is just these organic yellow corn tortilla chip browns joel always loves having tortilla chips with salsa and stuff so i thought that i'd pick them up for fun and then really random but i came across this gray nice really soft long sleeve at target so i decided to pick it up and it's just like so soft and cozy and it's just going to be a shirt that i i know already i'm going to wear all the time as i already showed you guys i got this native eucalyptus and mint deodorant spray and it smells so good and then i just got a restock of my elf brow pencil that's all that i got honestly the target section the target christmas section was so picked over i just feel like there really wasn't anything that good and worth buying so i didn't get anything i didn't really find anything that i wanted to buy it was okay and i just honestly feel like it was picked over that's why but it's okay i got some groceries and we went for the fun of it so it wasn't like we went there for christmas decorations anyways and we did end up getting some stuff from trader joe's and everything even though i didn't get much it was still a really fun day and i'm glad that we went even if i just went there to get this bag it would have been worth it i almost wish that i got like five of these because i would love to just give these away next time i go i need to get like five if they're still there but anyways that's a little haul i'm just going to edit for the rest of the day and just chill and we're gonna have some leftover soup which is so nice because tonight I don't have to cook easy dinner tonight for us i completely forgot to show you guys but i just remembered because this was sitting in the fridge because i put it in the fridge once we got home i got these gluten-free chocolate chunk cookie dough and you could just like put this in the oven to bake the ingredients not so great pretty bad for you but like i said everything in moderation a treat is a treat moderation once in a while i will let you guys know how they are because i've never found gluten-free cookie dough anywhere here and they're the trader joe's brand so on a night where i'm too lazy to bake my own healthy dessert we can bake these might even try one tonight i just opened these cookies and oh my gosh i tasted a bit of the dough it tastes so good i just popped two in the air fryer just to taste them but i already know that they're gonna be good i'm so excited trader joe's just has like the best stuff i swear
I am extra tired today, but we're persevering. We're still gonna go to our workout. I'm going to oxygen yoga and fitness today for a power core class, and I'm actually really excited about it because this is my favorite class of theirs, but I am very, very tired, so there might be a little nap in my future. I've been getting eight hours of sleep every day this week, and usually I get more, so maybe it's catching up to me. Also, the fact that it's the middle of the month already, I can't even comprehend that. I don't get how time has been going by so fast. It's actually insane. When I wrote the date on my journal this morning, I gasped. I was like, you're kidding. It is not already middle of November. I literally thought just yesterday was november 1st what even is life what even is time it's so early in the morning right now i just feel so weird about it it's cr it's actually crazy where it feels like we're in a time warp let me know if time is going by fast for you guys too anyways okay i'm gonna go into my workout i will talk to you guys later <laughs> these side tables i didn't even show you guys but they didn't end up looking good so we're gonna return them yeah that's basically what we're going there for just to make some returns and then we have a few errands to run and then also the christmas pillows that i got i'm unsure about them so we have them just in case we find better ones to return but i still am on the fence about those whether i want to keep them or not so we'll see but anyways yeah it's kind of a gloomy day today which is not that bad it just started raining which is kind of cozy oh and we also want to go to ikea today because we want to get another pair of curtains to do the wall behind the couch and yeah we'll see where the day takes us hey guys so we are currently in ikea i don't know how if you can hear me right now but we're trying to get a lamp and we found one that we liked online so we just saw it in person and we like it we just don't know how it's gonna look in our house. We're gonna get two, one for the dining room and one for the living room. Not sure how it's gonna look, but Ikea has a good return policy, so if we don't like it, we can always just return it. But it's worth buying it to try it out, and I think we're just gonna get two of the same kind so that the living room and the dining room can be matching. And they're basically like the only lamps that we like here, so that's the vibe, and we're getting them in gold. Let me show you guys the box. This is the name of the lamp, and it's like a cute vintage lamp. So we'll see how it fits the vibe of our house and if we're going to keep it. But that's what we're picking up right now. So we ended up actually returning the bow on the top, and I ended up making a bow out of the ribbon that I used on the tree and I like it so much better than the other bow. I think it was just throwing me off because it was a little bit too big for the tree and I don't know, I just didn't think that it fit the vibe, but now I'm really obsessed with how the tree turned out and these bows, as you guys saw, I made them by myself and I just bought two things of ribbons from Michaels and it ended up turning out so cute. I'm in love with it. This is the final Christmas tree. I love the bow theme and I think that it's adorable. I'm gonna show you guys a little Ikea haul of what we got. So first thing we got are these fake flowers. I think that they would look really cute on this dining room table here in this vase. Obviously I'm gonna need to cut them, but we have been looking for fake flowers to put in here and these are just white classic flowers. So I think that they'll look good 
and before i had like the dried up fall flower stuff in here but fall is no longer on the radar so i took them out and i think i'm gonna put these in them because these are also year-round flowers that will look good anytime in the summer i can always like get fresh flowers but i feel like the winter is just whatever so i got fake flowers to put in here and i feel like it's gonna look really pretty and elegant and then i just got some hangers for my clothing rack because i already have a set of these but i just needed more because it's only in a pack of there's only five hangers so these are really nice hangers i find for my clothing rack and they're just plain and simple and then really random but i got a hand towel for the bathroom down here just because we don't even have one and this is like a light olive green shade which is really pretty and kind of christmasy too and then as i showed you guys in the store we got this astrid lamp in the shade gold i hope it looks good but we got two of these for the living room and then the dining room here so hopefully it looks good that we have two i don't know how that's gonna look with the same thing but i feel like it will look good so we'll see but got that and then we wanted to get another pair of curtains and like a bar to hang out more curtains in here in the living room but they were sold out of the curtain rod that we needed so we didn't purchase any curtains but hopefully they come back in stock soon and just stay tuned for whenever i put that in my vlog if you guys want to see yeah also my nail broke so that's great we also got this little tree we found it thrifting because i was looking for paintings or like vintage art to put on the wall here in the dining room i didn't find anything so we're gonna keep looking but we did find this really cute christmas tree thing and we're gonna hang it outside on our door because we were looking i was looking for a wreath and i don't know i didn't really find one that i really liked but then we came across this and we were like this is so cute and it's different it's not like a classic wreath and it's so cute with the little red bow. It's adorable and it's thrifted. So it's eco-friendly and Joel's gonna put this outside on our door and I think it's gonna look really, really cute. Yeah, that is a little haul from today. I'm just gonna start making dinner now and just kind of cleaning up around because I feel like the table right now is just such a mess. I kind of want to start washing the Christmas mugs and start to, to start to use them. Yeah, that's a little haul and vibe for tonight. <laughs> So here is how this room turned out. I am so obsessed, especially the flowers. It just pulls everything together and I love the lamp. This room needed something and that was exactly it. So all that's left here for this room for decor is now putting a picture frame on this wall here, which we'll get done once we find the perfect one. But I am in love with the vibe. It's just looks like fine dining. And the lamp turned out so cute and I love the flowers in the middle. I also put this red candle that I made because it kind of reminds me of Christmas. So I put that in the centerpiece as well. I just finished the chili and look at how good it looks. I added corn in the recipe this time because last time I checked at the grocery store, their corn was sold out, but I snatched it up this week and oh my gosh, I tasted a bit and it's amazing. And I'm going to put like green onion, avocado, and have it with some chips, but so cozy and so good. Such a wholesome meal. Mm -hmm. 